Hello! In this video, we're going to show you how to create an Apple Developer account and enroll in the Apple Developer Program. The Apple Developer Program is what gives you the ability to make your apps available in the App Store for iOS users. Before we begin, we should note that if you have multiple apps in the system, each app will need to be housed in its own developer account. Let's get started. Step 1. Go to Apple's developer website, developer.apple.com, and create an Apple ID if you don't already have one. Then, click Account at the top of the page. If you don't already have an Apple ID, you can create one by clicking on the Create Yours Now link next to Don't Have an Apple ID. Go ahead and take a moment to create your account. Once you've created your Apple ID, you will need to enable two-factor authentication, which is a requirement by Apple for all Apple IDs. You can set up two-factor authentication with an iPhone, iPad, or a computer. For the iPhone and iPad, start by clicking Settings, then your name at the top, then click Password and Security. Then simply tap Two-factor authentication. Be aware that they may ask you some security questions, if that's the case, just follow the instructions Apple gives you. If you're using an Apple computer, go to Apple Menu, then System Preferences, click iCloud, and then Account Details. Click Security, then click Two-Factor Authentication. If you don't have an Apple product to use, reach out to Apple's support team, and they'll help you get that set up with a non-Apple product. Step 2. Start by logging in with your current or newly created Apple ID at developer.apple.com. This brings us to the Apple Developer Agreement page. Read through it if you'd like, but when you're done, check the box saying you've read it and click Submit. After this, you'll see a link titled Join the Apple Developer Program. Click it. This will take you to a page where Apple tells you all about the Developer Program. You can read through this if you want, but once you're ready, click on the Enroll button. This will take you to a page telling you what the two different account types are and what you need to do for each one. The first type of account is for the individual. An individual account only allows for a single primary login to be created to the iOS developer account. Also, the developer name will be made public on the App Store. Sign up for an individual account only if your app is branded to you as an individual. The second type is for companies and organizations. This type of account will allow for multiple user logins to be created and managed. This type of account is what we recommend. For this type of account, the developer name that's made public will be the company or organization's name. Enrolling in the correct account or entity type is vital to getting your app submitted and approved by Apple. It all boils down to what your app's content is for and what its branding is set to. For example, let's say your name is David and you built an app for yourself called David's app, and everything in that app is related to you as an individual person. At that point, you can enroll as an individual. But let's say you made an app for your company called David Enterprises, or a charitable organization that you founded. You'd need to enroll as a company organization for that app since it's created specifically for your company or organization. Doing this will require you to provide a Dun and Bradstreet number, which we'll cover in just a moment. Now, knowing this and going over the information, start by clicking Start Your Enrollment. Step 3. Confirm that your email address, name, and country location are correct. Then select the type of account that you're enrolling as. Now, onto a Dun & Bradstreet number. Remember that this is only for companies and organizations. If you don't have a Dun & Bradstreet number, you can get one for free here. This does take a few weeks to process, but once you have the DUNS number, you can provide it to Apple during the enrollment process. After you've selected the type of account you need, click Continue. Step 4. In this section, you'll be asked to fill out the contact information for your account. After, you'll be brought to a series of pages where you will be typing in your personal information, so this is as far as I can go on my demo screen. But, you will be encountering an enrollment fee page with an option for automatic renewal that you can enable or disable at any time. You will also be filling out the following personal billing information, such as credit or debit card numbers, 
and a billing address. Once you fill this out, Apple will send you an email confirming that your Apple developer account has been created successfully. This email can take up to 24 hours to receive. Just follow the steps. The website is simple and guides you through the rest of that process. Step five, upgrade your plan in our system. Now that you've created an Apple developer account and completed the enrollment program, go back to your BuildFire dashboard and click the button at the top of the page next to your account name. For some of you, it will be a green button that says update and for others, it will appear as a blue button that says publish. Both buttons have the same function. After you've clicked that, choose one of our paid plans that best suits you. Step six, enter in your app's details in the publishing information section of the app dashboard. You do this by going to settings on the BuildFire dashboard and clicking publishing information. Then fill out the Apple specific information for your app. Important note, once you've sent your app off to our publishing team to submit to Apple, you'll need to reach out to us at support at buildfire.com so that we can set up a time for our publishing team to call and obtain the two-factor authentication code that's generated when we try to access your account. This is due to a requirement by Apple that all Apple developer accounts need to have two-factor authentication enabled on them. Once we have access to your account, we'll be able to submit the app for you. Now that you've completed the entire process, I have a couple pro tips you should know about. Pro tip number one, you may be eligible to waive Apple's enrollment fee. Nonprofit organizations, accredited institutions, and government entities based in the United States that distribute only free apps can request to have their annual membership fee waived. Pro tip number two, you can have multiple apps under your account as long as they apply directly to your business, are all different in nature or intent, and adhere to Apple's terms and guidelines. And that's it. Now you have your own Apple developer account. Thanks for watching.